Hello everyone, welcome to Style 3D channel. In this video, you will learn some of the functions of the settings. So firstly, here is the settings. And here is the display. So here we can show different viewpoints. Like I said before, these viewpoints can correspond to different numbers on the keypad. And focus can be obtained by pressing F. Display functions of the clothes can also be set or found. And here is the avatar display settings. We can show the arrangement points and show the skeleton. If we need to model a garment with very precise positions, we can display the avatar's measure points. That way we can do a very precise matching of the garment's position. Okay, so these are the user settings. The first settings is about the shortcuts. We can set a common function to different shortcut keys, or we can change the default ones. Next is the user interface. Our default measurement unit is in centimeters. You can also choose to go to millimeters or inches. You can also set the interface's color scheme. By default, we have the dark theme set. Sometimes if we simulate darker clothes or dark gray clothes, our current background isn't helpful. So in this case, we can change the light theme color to properly view our garment. So we can synchronize the color theme of the 2D and 3D interface so it becomes the same light color. So you can see in the 3D window and the 2D window, they have the same background color. But if we want the 3D window and 2D window to have different background colors, we can also set it. We just won't select the 3D background to match and switch. We choose no, then our 2D background will be a dark color and our 3D background will be a light color. Then we can also choose the language. The most common ones are English and Chinese. And then we have window mode. Here we have the design mode and the model mode. You can change it depending on your needs. Here is the other soft dock. Of course, there are other buttons you can display if you need them. Here is the settings for our resolution. You can choose this based on your computer configurations. The next tab is Others. Here you can show some key data according to your needs. Also, our viewpoint type can be changed here. The key thing here is the time interval of autosave and the path that it will save to. If there's a step you've adjusted that you haven't saved in real time, you can open the save path here and then find the files but there's a limit to the number of files in this one, which means it will only automatically save 50 files for you. So for example, if you get to 51, the first file will be automatically deleted. The next button is to check for updates to see if our version is the latest one. So we can click on about to see the information of our current version. If there are some features of our software that you still can't find, you can click on the brochure here, or click on the college, and then go directly to our Style 3D website for courses. Now we can go to personal shortcuts. This can be set according to the different needs of everyone. Finally, you can also give us feedback on our software. So this is everything under the menu bar settings. And this is the end of our introduction. I hope some of our tips will help you with your 3D creations. If you like what we do, please like, comment and share this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.